guys welcome to my channel today I'll be sharing with you a very delicious recipe that most Jamaicans love I'm so excited to show you what I will be preparing today guys so let's get right to it so these are the ingredients that we'll be using today to make cabbage and corned beef and I'll be using the low sodium um, corned beef if you look it's at 25% less sodium and it's ready to eat it has 14 grams of protein no MSG and it's also gluten free so I am going to put a link where you can get corned beef to buy online because I don't know if you can get this specific one that I'm using but I'm going to put that um, link for you guys. So this is our corned beef. I'll be using a little piece of onion, garlic, habanero pepper, jalapeno pepper, piece of jalapeno pepper. I'll be using one tomato. And here I have my cabbage, a large cabbage. I will show you how many cups of cabbage when I'm finished with it. When I'm finished cutting it up, I will show you how many cups that you know exactly how much cabbage to use to prepare this delicious, very, very, very delicious um, um, meal that, that we'll be having today. Cabbage and corned beef. Let's get to it, guys. So my son is helping me because my son is a very helpful young man. Watch out for your fingers, son. Don't go too near with the knife. He's been doing this for quite a while. So he knows how to do it. This is not the first time he's doing this guy. So if your children are children that don't um you don't practice teach them to do these things don't let them do this unless you you give them a little practice and show them how to do it so are you done with this part son yes all right you need to get it in this bowl right here Clean it off real good, son. Make sure the duck, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yes, you could even do the entire thing like that. All right, you're gonna go for the other piece now. Too big. Remember, we don't want it. Our cabbage will be too big, be too big. Well, cut enough. So here, I'm going to go ahead and measure how many cups of cabbage that we cut up. Here I have nine cups of cabbage along with my other recipe, my tomato, my half of jalapeno, my habanero pepper. I'm not going to cut up all of that in there though. My two cloves of garlic and my piece of onion.
so guys as you can see i'm cutting up my my seasoning to go on my cabbage any one of these you don't like you don't have to put it guys this is you can alter to how you like it you don't have to put everything that i put so if you don't like um spicy food do not put the habanero pepper because it's a little bit spicy but because i like spicy food that is why i'm putting it so you don't have to put things that you don't like in your food remember you can make the recipe to suit it the food as all you like it so this is the way i like it but you can follow the same recipe i'm using but take out the ones that you don't like suppose you, you don't like tomatoes you don't have to put tomatoes if you don't like um, um jalapeno there's a green one right here the green one right all right let me put some more see these green ones right here you don't have to put them. these are jalapeno and the yellow one the yellow pepper that's habanero okay you don't have to put it if you don't like spicy food you don't have to put the jalapeno which is the green one and you don't have to put the yellow one which is the habanero so it's all depending on what you like guys so remember always cook to suit the, the what you like not what what the person is showing you like so here i have a clove of garlic i'm just going to crush it down like that right and i have another one i'm going to put my knife knife on it and just crush it like that so that is my seasoning to go into my to make my cabbage and corned beef so i'm going to just put everything on a plate like right here So I have all of my things on the plate. All this beautiful um, seasoning to go in my cabbage. So guys, now we are ready to um, cook our cabbage and corned beef. I'm going to use this is one tablespoon of coconut oil and my pot is a little bit hot so I'm gonna turn that down I'm gonna only use one tablespoon of coconut oil because um, the corned beef already have some fat in it so we don't need that amount of oil so here I'm gonna be putting in all of my cut up um, Seasoning. Just gonna make it saute a little. Get all of those flavors out. So that is how you just kind of saute it maybe for like a minute or two. Okay, so we're sauteing that for a minute or two. After you are done with sauteing your seasoning slash vegetables, but these are vegetables too. So after you're done sauteing just for a minute or two, you're gonna add your nine cup of cabbage. And guys, notice I did not put any salt because we do not need any salt because the corned beef already have salt in it so we don't want to 
put too much salt because remember we are cooking to be health, <coughs> healthy and strong. We're not cooking to um, hurt ourselves. So remember to always think of being healthy. Healthy and delicious. So I'm just gonna <laughs> stir this around. So the bottom part of my cabbage is cooking. Don't want it to get burned, so I'm going to, because I don't want it to burn, I will give it a little stir. Put a little bit of water. So here I'm putting half cup of water. So I put half cup of water in mine and then I'm going to cover it for like I'm going to give it like five minutes to really cook down and get soft before I put in my corned beef but guys do not use too much habanero pepper if you do not want your cabbage and corned beef to be spicy that the yellow pepper that you saw me cutting up do not put too much of it because it will get spicy so if you're not a person who loves spicy food don't put too much of that but I'm going to um let this cook for five minutes and then I will return and put in my corned beef and show you how the second part of it is done okay guys so my my cabbage has been cooking for a while it has been cooking for about five minutes and it's really looking really soft right now so guys if you like your cabbage to be softer you need to cook it more give it more time to cook so and remember what I told you if you don't like spicy food please do not put the habanero pepper in it okay so this guys that you're seeing here is 340 grams corned beef 340 grams of corned beef I showed you the thing that it came in at the beginning of the video so I'm just gonna put this in now because it's reached a point where the corned beef needs to go in so here I'm putting in my corned beef and then I'm going to just mix in my corned beef like what you see I'm doing now just mix it in real good And guys you can see how cool it's looking right now this is one of our very delicious dish that we love to eat protein dish that we like to eat in Jamaica and I guess people from all over the world if you try it I'm telling you you are going to come to love it it is absolutely delicious it's absolutely healthy especially when you get the low sodium corned beef it's healthy it's low carb so you don't have to eat this one and be guilty that you're eating a lot of carb and you're gonna get bloated no gluten gluten free guys trust me you need to try this delicious recipe in the tin the 440 grams there is about um it's four servings so you want to share this in four if this can share for four persons in your family if you have more than four people in your family all you have to do is to buy another tin of corned beef so it can share properly but guys this meal oh i'm telling you you will not regret it it's absolutely fabulous.
guys so right now it's ready to share you can eat it right away you just need as I cook it down you can see I give it like a minute stirring it and cooking it down that's all it needs guys if you want your cabbage to be softer you can continue cooking it some more but watch it so that it don't burn but thank you so much guys for watching this video I'm going to also show you um, um, different foods that you can eat this cabbage and corned beef with okay guys here I'm having my corned beef with keto bread low carb keto bread and also some delicious rice guys please check out my keto bread recipe like share and subscribe thank you for watching